Hey guys, Rayvon here. Welcome back to Working Class Outdoors, episode three. Episode three of the John Boat the Bass Boat build of the floater. Um, it's Father's Day weekend. Yesterday we came out here and we mocked up the batteries in the back and uh, put the trolling motors back there trying to figure out where they were going to go. We started with the rear deck framing, trying to get all that where, where it goes and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to mount that bilge pump. Um, we get all that done, we'll probably start on the plywood and all that good stuff. My favorite thing to do, prime and paint and wait for paint to dry and get everything ready for carpet. All the seating up here is ready for carpet. We just hadn't carpeted it yet. I still got some things to do up front. Um, I'm toying with putting a cup holder in here and maybe mounting a few switches up here um, to t control the rear trolling motors. Hadn't quite figured out how I want to do that 100%, but um, I got to figure out something quick. I need to finish this thing. I'm ready to get back on the water. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us again. Hope you enjoy this video. We'll see you at the end of the weekend, maybe. Thanks for watching. update on what we got done I think I'm pretty much finished with the framing of the rear deck I decided to put me two hatches in there check that I'm not finished I need to put me two two pieces in here for the uh, pedestal mount for the seat so I still got to put two blocks in there I uh, gotta remember to do that but Right now, I'm working on mounting my bilge pump hose. So I gotta run the Lowe's and get a, um, a clamp to go right there. And when I get that hose mounted in, I'm gonna start cutting out my cardboard for my hats so I can get this wood cut out. Maybe we'll get it all at least primed and painted this weekend.
All right, guys. Got a little bit more done. We made it back to Lowe's. We got us a bracket. I got the um, bilge pump mocked up in here. And we finished with the framing for the back deck. We're about to, I'm going to put the two trolling motors on the back and we're going to start trimming cardboard. Hey guys, we're about to run out of light. Hey, look at this. Check it out. Good day today. We got the rear deck framed in. Let me put you down for just a second. We got the rear deck framed in. We got, we got the rear piece of plywood cut out. And we even got our hatches. We got our hatches cut out. We'll be priming and painting those bad boys tomorrow. I know I keep saying it. I know I keep saying it. But we're getting closer every day, guys. Just stay with us. We'll be done with her in no time, hopefully. I still got a few things, a few electrical items that I've ordered to come in. The latches, latches for the hatches um, haven't came in yet. And um, but other than that, we're getting there. Stay with us, we'll get her done. The floater, John boat, the bass boat build. She's coming along, making progress. We'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning guys, Rayvon. Welcome back to Working Class Outdoors. Father's Day morning. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. So, <clears throat> late yesterday evening when, when light was fading, we got the rear deck and the hatch is cut out so this morning I'm just trimming down the hatches for carpet and we're gonna sand them and get them ready for paint um, I may start a little bit of wiring in the rear deck area I'm kind of still waiting on some stuff to come in um, so I can continue but we're still working on getting everything ready for um, for paint and I don't know how much I'm gonna get done today because it is Father's Day and here in a couple hours, I'm going to be putting some ribs on the smugger. But stay with us. We're going to get something done today. Thanks for watching. Well, Father's Day turned out to be a disaster. I didn't get... The only thing I got done was I got the rear hatches uh, primed. And then between having to smoke some ribs and having to go purchase a new refrigerator, I got nothing else done. So I've been out here piddling after work. And I've been trying to figure out how to control my rear trolling motors up front. And after much debate and talking to several guys on uh, on Facebook and uh, on the phone, I decided to use two battery shutoffs, which I'm gonna flush mount them underneath. They're gonna be up here. So when I need to shut the trolling motors off, the rear trolling motors, if I'm by myself, uh, if there's an emergency, I can just turn that switch and it'll turn them off. 
So hopefully that'll work. That's what I'm going to do, guys. We're going. We're running the wire right now, and uh, I need to start looking there instead of there because I keep seeing my eyes. Yeah. Anyway, stay with us, guys. We're getting there. Hey guys, Rayvon. Welcome back to Working Class Outdoors. We're out here with the John boat, the bass boat build of the floater once again. Huh. Got a mess. Got a big mess going on out here. We got one front LED light wired in. I don't know if you can see it right there. It is. I'm working on getting this one right here wired in for the tackle storage area. Um, you can see we've been using the heat shrink, heat, heat shrink tubing, and all the heat solder connectors that um, the guys on Tiny Boat Nation and Decked Out John Boats and um, Anthony Jones and all those guys showed me to use. Fire Ant, all you guys, appreciate you. Um, anyway, guys, we're going to finish wiring in this LED. And once we do that, we're going to get back here on the batteries because my lugs came in today. I was waiting on some um, some bus positive and negative bus bars to come in. Sorry. My uh, camera skills are lacking lately. Um, once I get those installed where I want them, we're going to start running this six gauge wire up front and back to if you saw my Instagram post, I have decided to put two battery cutoff switches up here to control my trolling motors in the back when I'm fishing by myself. Um, yesterday, we if you also followed Instagram, you see that I already covered this piece and this piece in carpet, and they're ready to be installed as soon as I finish up with this wiring. So I'm going to get off of here and get it done. So... Um, Here's my wire coming from the front LED. And then I have another LED right here coming out. And I need to tie these two wires together. So what I've done is I've put me a female connector right here. And the wire coming from there, I've put a male connector on. And I think this is pretty cool. I did it just like Anthony Jones showed. I have the heat shrink crimp on connectors and then I went a over it with a um, the heat shrink tube with the adhesive inside of it that all the guys use I mean that is clean right there that is clean let me do another one for you right here see if I can do it pretty quick and not take all your time up I've already got my heat shrink tube cut we'll slide that over I will admit I forgot some heat shrink already on some wiring I've done in the boat here's my female connector Got that on there. Crimp her down. Do the Anthony Jones pull test. I like this little mini gun. I got this because of uh, Lopez at Tiny Boat Nation. I mean, I honestly wish it was just a tad hotter but it does the job. So we got that shrunk down. Pretty good. We slide our tube, then our slide our other piece of heat shrink up. We'll shrink her down. I usually do it till I see that adhesive oozing out. It's coming out right there right now. So I know that's good. And there you have it, man. That's a clean, like Anthony Jones likes to say, that's a clean install right there. Bam. Huh? Get off me.
All right, guys, we got a lot done for a day after work. You saw me earlier wiring in, tying in these two LEDs. The LED up there in front of the batteries, the LED in the uh, taco storage. And then I managed to run four wires up front. We hooked these two battery shutoff switches to those four wires. That's what's going to control my trolling motors in the back. Um, we got our fuse, breaker, whatever you want to call it, wired in. We got our two bus bars for that set of batteries. That Those two bus bars and that breaker wired in. I think I'm going to attempt to put this floor in up here. Just this front part. Let's see how that goes. Alright guys. I'm about to run out of camera light, but check this out. Finally. My first piece of decking's down. I ran into a hiccup. I had to take all that apart to get it in there because of the switches hanging down over some of my framing. That was a disaster. But check it out, guys. There's my switches. On and off. Super pumped about that. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Working Class Outdoors. It's Rayvon again. It's always me. But anyway, I'm going to try to finish the John boat up in the next few days. Weather pending, of course. Uh, before we get started, let me just bring you up to speed on what we've done so far or where we're at. We've got the front deck framed in. We've got all the wiring. We've got the front deck panel attached. We've got our cords for our depth finders ran. Now the light wired in. We got that. We got our two switches wired in for our trolling motors in the back. We're trying to figure out where we're going to put our second depth finder. We've got all the wires ran for it from the transducer and the uh, GPS. All the wires in the front are coming in on that side. That's where our switch panels are going to be. We have our rear deck framed in. <clears throat> we have our bilge pump installed. We got our uh, breakers and our bus bars for our rear trolling motors. We're going to try to get all that. We're going to try to get all the wiring done and ran to this point so we can carpet and cover this piece right here we've already got the wood cut out for it and once we do that we can build the side panel for over here and start framing out this boxed in area that's going to have our switch panels and after that it'll be down to working on our hatch lids which is going to be a whole nother animal anyway guys getting closer every day i keep saying it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video Hey guys, welcome back to Working Class Outdoors. Rayvon again, Dawson's behind the camera. Finally, I got a cameraman for the John Boat, the Bass Boat Builder, the floater. Just wanted to give you a quick update of what we've got done today. Number one, we got the trolling motor mounted. The front trolling motor mounted, right here. Turn around, Dawson. We got her back on here. She's working. Here's our switches for our rear trolling motors. We'll talk about that here in a minute. Number two thing we did today, Number two thing, we mounted this, this right here, this part of the deck. She's mounted, she's screwed in. We put our, our ram mount for our graph in. We got our cables ran. We used a old woo, woo tongue set, how about that woo? Woo rod sock for our cables. We wrapped this piece of carpet, put it in. Dawson, show them what it looks like, looking all clean. Show them how clean it is. Easy, easy, he's crab walking. Show him how clean it looks. Oh, it looks clean, people. I'm telling you. But check this out, guys. Oh, what else did we do? We got our GPS puck mounted. We got it mounted right here. Hummingbird, that's where it's at. We got our down imaging transducer mounted in the back. I guess he's not coming, but hey. But the thing that's got me the most excited is we got all of our wiring done except for 
where our control panel is going to be. All the wiring in the back is finished. The bilge pump's wired in. The LED lights wired in. I got a wire ran for the live well, and I got my babies powered up. That's right. I figured it out. I got them powered up. If Dawson will show you, let me let me flip the circuit flip. Let me flip the circuit breakers. we we'll turn these bad boys on. Hopefully they won't come on and chop my legs off. So in order to operate these things, I was worried that when I was fishing by myself, if something happened in the back, how would I turn them on and off? Well, after talking to several people, this is what I came up with. Battery shutoff switches up here. Look at there. Power to bone. They have a safety pin right here. When that pin's inserted, I can lock these on. Sounds like a fighter jet about to take off. <laughs> Woo! What you gonna do with all that horsepower, Dawson? I'm telling you. So if there's ever an emergency, or when I get to the spot where I'm gonna smash them, I just boop, boop, turn them off. I'm good. Hey, and that's where we're at. We've already got this rear deck. We've got it cut out and painted. We're about to throw some carpet on it. As soon as we get it carpeted and installed, we're gonna build the box right here to house all of our, our switches. We're gonna put a carpeted panel over there where Dawson's leaning up against the boat and then we'll be on hatches. This thing's gonna be done before you know it, guys. We appreciate you watching. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And remember, we're working for a living and living for the outdoors. We'll see you next time.